The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chief A. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides round here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without the shovel. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. Is he, uh, Geralt, old pal? About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. I've got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel carved out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Zed's inside, and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Find it. 
No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the ism, Grimcard. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Tiana from the square tail deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. They were looking for something Ledger might be worth snooping around for. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. Zed sold cards too. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Sultan. Get out. You've been in town a while? Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Demir, why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The Big Four's made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you. The Big Four. Sigi Reuven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Whore Son Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Whore Son recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. 
Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Eh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse, gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Flea-ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life and... Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Rav is on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stake. Ravi's life and the Natalis car. Fancy that? I got no use for Ravi. This witch is no fun.
Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! Now we've just Caesar Bilzin to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. He certainly keeps the card there. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Shivi! She's our Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's King of the Ponta. Ah, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Oh, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the Ponta? You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what the Zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's cause you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme and it tasted like time flavor shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this time. Get out? Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Happened to like Xander. Cause you're a witcher! What do you shoving them potions shit's a delicacy to use? <laughs> a witcher? Never mentioned he was a witcher. Milton, did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Or night crawlers. Though the pike aren't as eager, don't know why. Once, Dug up a crawly, so fat and lovely, I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? Uh, I'm not so sure. Hey, Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Care Morehead? Bombs. How's that? <laughs> Bells and had many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Geralt! Go fetch us another bottle. Right. You can see the bottom of this one. So, where are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. Forget what happened.
triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Sultan, time we were on our way. <sighs> I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We've a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, up to it, lads. Haven't they got all day? Uh, look at me! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. <laughs> Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Ah, oh. oh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of a mirror. You walk him to Vet's skull. Vatier de Rideau's dagger. The rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit. Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shitload of coin for them. 
Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. Hmm. You know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. What's he doing here? Oh, I can't wait to get the King of Beggars out of my field. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome? Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards getting away with my coin. Damn it. With our coin. Chase the horse in. I'll tend to the others. Slow you down. What? Can't understand a word. Might as well stop. Leave me. 
surviving drowners. <laughs> you could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? No. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. So, you get him? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar.